the way, we go. Okay, I have this goofy astrology for dummies guide that I picked up on the newsstand over there at uh, Books a Million a couple months ago. It is this mainstream media stuff, so it's nothing deep, but I like it a lot because it's got all the planets and the zodiac signs and the metals and the colors and stuff that's all associated with all that and this little quick 25-page you know, magazine with pictures so sillies like me can easier, um, can understand it easier. All right, so I want to talk about the planet Uranus today and what I've been learning from Jonathan Bear over here at Mercury's Messenger Astrology. Please check his channel out. The links will be below, but some really cool stuff. So uh, real quick, I'm going to read just a couple paragraphs, real short paragraphs out of this magazine about the planet. So if Saturn is the rule maker, Uranus is the rule breaker. The planet is named after a god in Greek, Greek mythology who ruled the universe in astrology. Uranus is considered the planet of shocking game-changing events, personal freedom, originality, individuality, tech-savvy, innovation, progress, emphasis on progress, and sudden shifts that may completely disturb the status quo for better or for worse. And this will be going, this planet will be going retrograde starting August 7th. So whenever that happens, when Uranus is retrograde, which occurs about once a year, we're prodded even more than usual to make changes personally and globally. All right. And so that's happening starting August 7th. Now, Uranus, it says here, stays in one sign for about seven years. Now, learning from John here, this is totally cool. So... It's going to, it's currently in Aries, but it's moving out of Aries and will move into Taurus May 16th, 2018. So about a month from now as of today, April 14th. And it'll be moving from Aries again. Like I said, um, it's moving from Aries into Taurus. That will be May 16th. So what I didn't know, which I learned from him here, is that the last time, so when it moved, when Uranus moved into Aries, from Pisces into Aries seven years ago. It was the day of the Fukushima disaster. And we moved backwards counterclockwise, so now we're moving Aries into Taurus. And as I even showed uh, from a video from an astrologer, astrologer on YouTube named Barbara, where she said two years ago that that will be very interesting to see what happens. And she even said is that that could be a moment for uh, a shakeup. She said she would not be surprised to see a shakeup in the financial markets she said that two years ago, at the peak of a bull market that was going on for six years at the, or excuse me, eight years at the time, and the financial, I think a, a, an amazing word to describe what's happening in the financial markets is a shakeup right now. So it's really going to be something to see. If, I'm curious to see if anything happens as well. So the last time it changed signs, Fukushima happened. So who knows? Will something that big happen? I don't know. I, I doubt that seems pretty big, but who knows? You know, anything can happen, but it'll be an interesting time to, to keep an eye on just to see. So the la uh, another thing I learned uh, from, from Jonathan over here was the last time that Uranus was in Taurus was in 1933, which was indeed during the Great Depression, which also what happened that year, the Emergency Banking Act of 1933, which was signed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who I just showed you in one of my la in my last video that he used astrology and was big into astrology. So for an entire week in March 1933, all banking transactions were suspended in an effort to stem bank failures and ultimately restore confidence in the financial system. So this is some pretty interesting stuff, and I just wanted to, to share this with you and share his channel. And another thing I did not know about Oh, and just one thing I want to add to it. Um, Uranus is translates to heaven in Greek, and it's the masculine energy, and Earth is the feminine en energy, Mother Earth. So you have heaven and Earth, all right? And these two have a very special relationship because think of all the names of the planets, right, in this order even, the way I was taught in high school, or uh, school, not high school, or in elementary school. Uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, Earth and Uranus are the only two planets that, have, that start with the vowel. So they have a very special relationship. Talking about heaven and Earth right here. Okay, so um, the last thing I want to mention is apparently there's going to be a global fuel boycott 
tomorrow as of today anyway, April 15th. So if you care to participate, going to have, a, I guess, a whole bunch of people, a coordinated effort online to not buy or purchase um, fuel tomorrow. So I'll be partaking in that. And that's up to you. You know, just wanted to throw that out there. So, uh, yep. So thanks again to Jonathan Bear for the help out there, man. I really appreciate it. Keep up doing the great work on the videos. And, uh, yeah, so Uranus is considered the planet of shocking, game-changing events. So we'll see if anything like that comes about when it changes signs next month. And so, last but not least, if you like my videos or like my content, please like, share, buy my music at the links below. If you want it for free, just send me a message and I'll send it to you. Thanks to my subscribers.